I've been working with this painting for many years and it's really one of my favorite paintings at the National Gallery of Art. And I noticed that the more I looked, the more I discovered. And it was the kind of painting that really revealed itself in a very literary way. There was so much atmosphere, so I thought we could use adjectives to describe the painting. There was so much action and I felt it lent itself to, to using verbs and of course lots of nouns, lots of uh, actual things happening in the painting. So welcome everybody, welcome to the National Gallery of Art and my name's Miss Liz. And today we're going to be focusing on this painting by an American artist, George Bellows. And it's called New York and it was painted in 1911. We are going to be focusing our attention on this painting and we're going to be describing it really carefully using nouns, adjectives, and verbs. And then I'm going to tell you a little bit about this painting and based on all the things that you've gathered, all the nouns, adjectives, and verbs, we're going to be writing collaborative poems called word pile poems inspired by this work of art. I'm going to have a slow look at this painting. Take a good, quiet minute to look really carefully. Sort of have your eye travel around the painting, okay? All right, so under your stools is a board and paper that looks like this with a pencil. Look at, again at the painting and find five different nouns that you see in the painting. And remember that a noun is a person, place, or thing. So on each post-it, write a different noun, okay, on the yellow post-its. And I'm gonna do it at the same time. Do one on each post-it, okay? And you'll see why later. All right, so now turn to your shoulder partner and compare some of the nouns that you've started to discover in the painting. Just have a mini conversation for a couple of minutes. So let's share some of the nouns, person, place or things that you noticed in the painting. Yes, Andrew. Well, I noticed in the background, like in the park, there are a lot of dead trees. Dead trees? Yes, Rakaya. There's a lot of shadows of the trees. Right, so shadows of the trees. In the crowd of like all the people, there's like black and doll and all these doll clothing. And there's this one lady with a bright red dress. I think the artist wanted that to stand out. I noticed a man that's cleaning the street and he's right um, under the guy with the black jacket that has a mustache and he's wearing all white and it looks like he's holding the broom. I saw like this trolley back with the yellow top. There's a big wad of hay. Um, there's a lot of bulletin boards like up, one in the right top corner. Okay, that was wonderful, that was great. And you have really made some great observations. So what I'd like you to do now is step inside this painting. Imagine what it's like to be in this painting. And now we are going to uh, use adjectives on your orange post-it to describe some of the things that you've noticed. What does it smell like? What does it sound like? Are the buildings tall? So think about adjectives, adjectives that describe nouns and come up with five different adjectives to put on each of your orange post-its to describe any part of the painting. So take just a couple of minutes to jot those ideas, those adjectives down for yourself. a describing word to describe like smelly, busy, whatever. Yeah, so it could be smelly or busy. Maybe you describe the building as tall, right? That's an adjective. You're describing something. 
And I'm going to jot down some adjectives for myself too. All right, so now turn to your shoulder partner and share some of your adjectives and compare your lists of adjectives. We're going to come back together and I'd love us as a group to share some of the adjectives that you came up with, Jamako. It's like one part of the sky is like black, but the other side is like a lightish blue color. Yeah. Okay, Kennedy. Uh, I feel like it's kind of like a rush hour. Like, I see like a lot of people in huddles, and I feel that like it's like people are everywhere. So, what's an adjective you would use to, to describe uh, the rush hour? Busy. Right, busy, or you uh, and other people have come up with that too. Rikaya. It's like not a very like happy town. People are like mysterious. Okay, Lydia. Well, um, it looks like winter because like everybody's in like coats and hats. In the background, you can say, see a, like a low layer of frost or snow. What's an adjective that you would use to describe that? Wintry. Yeah. And, like cold. What we're going to do now is think of some verbs to describe this painting. So verbs are action words. You might describe the man who was cleaning the street as sweeping. So together with your shoulder partner, I'd like you to brainstorm verbs that you might find in this painting. All right, we're going to come back together. And I would love to hear your verbs or your action words. Galloping, because in the background, there's a lot of horses and they're just running around behind the, those two horses. Yeah, Kennedy. I said pushing and shoving, because like in huddles, mm -hmm. so think that like when they're close together, they might be pushing and shoving to get where they need to go. I was wondering what was under that canopy too, and I guess maybe it was like a food truck. Uh huh. Think about this in terms of, of verbs, right? Action words. Selling. Okay. Yeah, they might be se uh, selling things, selling food. Um, walking fast because yeah. people look like they're trying to get somewhere and only getting there. I said looking because I think I see a cop um right next to the haystack. He's like pointing at something. Okay, that was wonderful. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the painting and about the artist. As I mentioned, the artist's name is George Bellows. And he painted this painting that he called New York in 1911. Now, he came to New York in the year 1904 from Ohio. He originally was going to play professional baseball. And one day he decided, I don't want to be a baseball player. I want to be an artist. And I need to go to New York to learn how to be an artist. So he arrived in New York a few years before he painted this. Now is the time for you to create your own poetry inspired by this painting. Each pair has a blue board and a whiteboard. The first thing you're going to do is take all your words and put them on your whiteboard. Then using the blue paper, you're going to arrange all your words into an interesting poem. And you're going to think about what does this work of art mean to me? And what's interesting about this work of art? Okay, and you're going to turn that into a poem. Oh, yes. Ready to be prepared. I would just put Okay. I'm sorry to cut you short and you know this is the kind of poem that you could keep writing because it's on post-its. Does any group want to share their poem? Okay. So Lydia and Tida come come up here. One really bright red dressed in the loud 
busy, smoky streets of a city with horses and a wagon on this cold winter day. The loud noise settles as your eyes fall on this beautiful thing. All the other clothes are dull and brown. This dress stands out. The chaos encases this brightly covered frock. The tall building is nothing, is nothing compared to the bright red dress. Nice, thank you. Finn and Nick. Okay, busy cops looking, cold snow rushing, the smelly horses trotting, the flashy vehicles honking, and the safety pickpockets casually walking. That's great. I think you really captured the atmosphere of this painting. I could even kind of sense the rhythm of it. So what I loved is that we looked really carefully. We had a slow, quiet look. And then we started to describe it using nouns, adjectives, and verbs. And I noticed how you really used your imaginations. And you really made this painting come to life so that when you started to write your poems, you put in some of the atmosphere of this painting into your poems. And poetry is another art form, so what you did is you interpreted this painting through your beautiful word pile poems.